good morning good afternoon and good evening dear friends welcome to third episode of our video series hope you are happy with the contents and presentation you can always inform me your suggestions and complaints in the comment section if you like my videos please consider subscribing to my channel so let's start today we are going to demonstrate a push button example with our nuclear board using the built-in push button on the board we are controlling the led the push button is connected to pin 13 of port C and we already know LED is been connected to pin 5 of port A. Okay, we can launch stm 32 cube IDE. If you don't know about the IDEs and its downloading steps, you can go and watch the previous episode. So you can see our last project here because we are using the same workspace. As usual, we can start a new stm 32 project. For that, either you can right click on this portion or you can access it from the file menu like this. Okay, now go to board selector and type our board model G474. Now I am selecting nuclear G474 here. Click next. We can type our project name. Keep the default settings. Okay, now click finish. Click yes because we have to keep default mode for the peripherals. Here you can see our push button. So we have to configure it as an input pin. And LED you can already see it is uh, configured as an output pin. So we don't need to change that. Now we can go to system core. Then GPIO. You can see the pins connected to the button and the LED. Okay, we can click on them. You can keep all the default settings here. Nothing to change. Yes. Now we have finished our configuration. Perfect. Now we can go to clock configuration. So nothing to change here also. We will keep maximum clock frequency is 170 megahertz. Next is project manager. Keep default settings in all these tabs. Now we can click on the save button to generate the code. Click yes. We have got our ready made main.c. Okay, now what are we going to do? If we press on the push button, the LED should glow. And if we release that, the LED will be off. For implementing that, first we have to read the push button state. Means we are checking if it is pressed or not. Then checking conditions and accordingly we will turn on or off the LED. In this case, if button is pressed, we can turn on the LED. And if the button is released, we can turn off the LED. Now we start coding. So for reading button state, we can call HL GPIO read pin function. We can fill in our uh, port and pin details. So they are GPIO C for port C and GPIO underscore pin underscore 13 for pin 13. Next is checking conditions. For this we can use if statement. First we can check if button is not pressed. We can type if hl underscore gpio underscore read pin c equal to gpio pin reset. gpio pin reset is representing a released state of button or we can say it is low state or zero state. Then we have to keep the LED off. For that we can write the code in this way. hl underscore gpio underscore write pin is used to set or reset any pin. Our LED is connected to port A pin 5. Now we have to keep it in off state or low state. Or simply we can write here as GPIO pin reset. Better I can copy that from here. And don't forget to put the semicolon. If you are worried about GPIO pin reset, you can go inside this function by pressing Ctrl and the left mouse button. In this function, there are three arguments. The third argument is an enum. To see its declaration, just again control plus uh, mouse click. So this is an enum and it can accept these two values, set and reset. The first variable reset is represented as zero. So automatically set means it is a one or high. We can go back to main. To avoid confusion, I am closing other open windows. Next condition is if switch is pressed, LED should be on. Our push button can have only two states, a released or low state or a pressed or high state. We already wrote about released state. So next condition is evident. 
we can write that using else statement so we can save some code space wow modi ji wow same as above hl gpio write pin gpio a then we can write gpio pin 5 i am turning on led here so we can set the pin our coding is over now we can build our code oh four errors we can see the build errors in the problems tab okay understood it's a problem with tipo if we double click here it will show the line pin i have written in small case actually it should be all in caps again we can try building our project no errors good now we can click on the debug button and keep the default settings here click on play button now we can see the nucleo board now button is in released state so led is off i am going to press the button yes led is on this is the same way we have written our code i am releasing the button again led is off okay so successfully we have finished our objective hope you have understood this well if not please tell me in comments we will meet again in our next video see you later